Uh, one of our viewers uh, who's got a question. Uh, we've got a phone call just coming in. <coughs> yes, uh, Nduka, good morning. Yes, um, Dr. Nduka, I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, very quickly, question or statement, uh, comment, whichever one it is. Yes, yes, I want to thank your panelists uh, on, the, on, uh, on the discussion, and uh, I'm quite uh, following it uh, very well. But one thing I want to say, one thing I want to say is that all of us, we should, first of all, take our, our country, Nigeria, first, you know. Uh, I know that the difficulties of trying to save your job, trying to save your bank, but the single thing is, the, the truth of the matter is that this country we have is Nigeria. We don't have any other country. We know that the, the, the growth rate is uh, 6 to 7%. And the, and, the, and the way you have an inflation of about 13%, the, the growth is worthless. Because look at the deficit, 6 to 7% and 13%. And little did the, the, your panelists, especially the central bank, know that Ghana grew last year, uh, this year with uh, 18%. The growth, the growth rate of Ghana is 18% this year, and they discovered all it. You see? So most of it is not. Uh, we have to tell our country the truth, you know. Uh, it, uh, if a lot of people are jobless in Nigeria and the bank is making excess profit, it makes not. If you look, if you uh, if you look, I'm a businessman myself. Look at it, because all the businessmen are crying except the government contractors and the banks. Look at the profit that they are declaring. It looks like it, what is showing is that they are different from the society. The profit that the banks are declaring, those banks in Europe and America and even China are not declaring that kind of profit. And the people are having access to credit. For God's sake, we have to tell our people the truth, because the only truth that can save Nigeria. Because if you look at the central bank, you know, if the, if the, if the, uh, the, 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 the LPR today is still... Percent. I mean, it, you know it's not true. And he was talking about the inflation in Europe and all those things. I, I, I can tell you that the UK, the inflation in UK is more than what the inflation in UK is, uh, is, uh, is uh, less than the, the, the uh, uh, historic. It's more than the, the, uh, the interest rate. They reduce their interest rate. The interest rate in Japan is about 0.05%. I mean, the 0.05%. America is uh, less than 1%. Even the interest rate in America today, the inflation rate in America today, is, uh, is more than the interest rate. And they are considering their people so that people can, can, can have access to credit. Our own, our own people and the central bank, you know, are not even considering the poor people. They are talking about the inflation and all that. All right. And uh, who can borrow money? Let, let's face the fact, gentlemen and okay. ladies there. Thank you. Who can borrow money today? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Nduka. Now, let me ask uh, for the uh, Baderi. Now, in terms of what he said, a spin-off from that, the idea that's crossing one's head is in terms of credit agencies, because you mentioned the five C's. When should we begin to look at getting credit agencies that would do the credit rating for Nigerians and make it easier for the banks to not have to look at an individual and say, mm, this woman looks like she's not going to pay us because she's wearing uh, loads of gold <laughs> as part of the character uh, rating. But people that will do a professional job, very good risk assessment of individuals. Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, the two, at least uh, credit agencies, credit bureaus that right now uh, um, uh, do the credit checks. But what you're saying now is that they should do assessment of the companies and also of the individuals, which means that, you know, they'll need the financials, they would need to get some information to do the due, necessary due diligence. I think this is something that will come up with time. It's not, we don't have it as, it, as we have right now, but with time, um, I think we would have more reliance on that independent uh, a credit assessment that has been done by the by, by the credit bureaus will get there, but as it is right now, what typically they do 
is the find out, you know, um, what sort of um, exposures you have with the various banks and how well it's performing. And that in itself is indicative of how well you would service your loan if you go to another bank. So it's, 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 I think it's something that is evolving and with time we'll get to a situation whereby individually or as a company you can go to these agencies and then you get credit assessment which the banks can use independently so that that would also free up some staff in the banks themselves you know so that we don't have such a big credit department doing the in-house analysis okay. so, um, shall we look forward now to 2013 um, what should we be doing to ensure that the economy does improve better than it, it did in 2012 let me begin with you uh, thank you very much but before then permit me to correct the impression that the gentleman who has question again uh, with dr Nduka. Okay. one is the claim that our, if our our growth numbers is below inflation the growth numbers that we mentioned is net of inflation that's why we talk about growth in real terms we have adjusted for inflation uh, of if we didn't, then we will have talked about growth number that is close Nominal. to twenty percent. Mm -hmm. That is number one. Number two, Ghana rebalance the Ghana uh, the, the, the rebalance their G, they rebase their GDP like Foluke said, mm -hmm. and that was why the reason for the spike. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, that that was just a flashing pan. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, no country deliberately fixes interest rate below inflation. The only time is technically allowed in economics is where you have spare capacity, and that should happen within a very short time frame. I mean, this is the common. A common principle in economy so that it doesn't feed the public with impression that we're doing uh, the wrong thing. Now coming back to your, your matter, I think what we need to do is to keep our eye on the ball. Yeah. We all agree here that there is a need for inclusive growth. I agree in total with Mr. Boyle. Inclusive growth meaning that we have to keep our eye on employment generation. We have to make sure that a lot more people have access not just to to banking, but also to credit, whatever it will be, whatever program we will roll out, we must. We must ensure that we remove those structural impediments that will make a banker not to want to lend to a individual because until we do that, in fact, we should also embark on consumer credit. We should then move the, the, the Nigerian economy from cash economy to credit economy. We should work very, very hard to remove those structural constraints. Create roads, in fact, we, 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 I think we should run twice faster. A rail line and so on and so forth. These are things that will free up resources and will ensure that we, we move at the speed that we should move. Okay, but before I come to you, Mr. Boyer, let me just uh, ask you a question in parenthesis because we spoke about the cash light earlier and you gave us the figures about 120,000 uh, POS terminals, you know, uh, in, already in use. Um, most of these people you have introduced these POSs to are people who did not deal with the banks at all. Is there an increase in use of banking services resulting from the cash light policy? There is. There is nobody that uses POS that is not dealing with Bank. uh, banking. Because you're you talking you, about I mean, the, the traders in the market now who now use, who are now paid with those POS terminals. Yes. Do I they now have bank accounts as a result yes, of this? Because, because they have cards. You need a card to be able to uh, do that transaction. The POS is just uh, a, 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 a yeah. machine. Mm -hmm. You need your card, mm -hmm. which is linked to your bank account. Yeah, you're talking about okay. the buyer, and I'm talking about the woman who is selling. The woman who is selling lace in okay, Costa, for but instance, but then it ends. Up, it, it settles. Machine. It settles in her account. Yeah, the POS machine, machine is, is linked just, to her account in the bank. Yes. Okay. So as a result of that, more people are opening bank accounts. More people are opening bank accounts. Okay. In fact, what we even intend to do now, because of the KYC. We've done tiered KYC now such that even a normal person who is not rich enough to have robust data that will make for looker to open account, we're then going to have a card that he can go and, and buy and preload so that even whether or not he has bank account, he still can interact with POS. Okay. Mr. Boyo, 2013. <clears throat> well, I think I would be misleading uh, or misguiding people if I, <laughs> if I should express optimism. Um, that 2013 would be better uh, than 2012. Um, the reasons are, are very uh, obvious and simple. No economy grows 
with inflation at 12, 15 percent, no inflation, uh, in a country grows when the monetary policy management people are unable to bring interest rates down from 24 percent to whatever. These are the realities. We can't, you know, we can't, we can't create our own country and expect our own rules to define progress. Progress in those countries where there has been significant progress, have, the progress has always come with that kind of enabling environment. That is what is called the enabling environment. Indeed, the central bank is not expected to create rules, create bridges, create transport, railways, and things like that. You might say that is indeed the, the, the responsibility of the, uh, of the government. But really, when you think about it, the amount that government has to spend every year, total, five trillion naira, okay? That's not even enough to provide power alone. So it is misguided or misleading to think that government is capable of providing your infrastructural deprivations. The reality, of course, is that that enabling environment that seems so thin is the platform on which you have to build. And that enabling environment is defined by what? Low rates of inflation, one to, uh, uh, low, low uh, rates of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of interest, okay? and a fairly stable exchange rate that is responsive to increasing dollar revenue. Once you have all those, your infrastructural requirements can be taken care of. If a com company or a, a corporate organization can borrow at 2-3%, why should they not want to do Benin Lagos Road by themselves and collect the money? But when, like uh, what, what is happening on the Ibadan uh, Express, the people have to go and borrow at 20-something percent. You, it's not rocket science to know that they would fail and they would have problems. You have a situation where people who have, um, uh, 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 have made uh, infractions on the system, for example, are rewarded. You have our people rewarding people who gambled on the stock exchange. Most of the funds that were have been supported, that have been used to, uh, 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 that are necessary to support these banks at the moment, have become necessary because of what margin loans. You know, rascality in the market. There's no doubt about it. At the end of the day, we, for, you know, we, we, we forgive them. So, is so long as you have... Then? The only hope that can be uh, uh, um, uh, conf that I can confidently predict is that if the central bank stops creating excess liquidity in the system on a regular basis every time they put the allocations of the three tiers of government in the system, that is the poison in the economy. Consequently, immediately, you have the, they have to mop up. Uh, NPR has to go up. Why do you think they are, they are sensible people? Do you think they don't know that they can bring uh, uh, NPR to a le level that is 1% or something? But, Mr. but they Lino know that as a... Lied sorry? That it was tried under Saludo, I reckon, sir. Excellent. You, said, you have it, said very well. The fact that they, they tried it, or they, it, it wasn't tried, it was suggested, means that what I'm saying is in accord with the thinking of those people in the central bank, that they realize that excess liquidity was a problem. That was why they agreed to do what I've been suggesting for five years prior to that. But having said that, the important thing is that until this enabling environment is put in place that removes the eternal threat of excess liquidity from the system on, on an abnormal kind of money that you don't see, money that does not go to the real sector, money that does not touch the people, and on a monthly basis, you are busy mopping up. Mop, until that stops, anybody who tells you that there will be development is deceiving you, my friend. Take okay. it from me, 31st of December next year. You are